first tonight. We are now in day four of Brandon Walker's first degree murder trial. The Peoria County man is accused of fatally neglecting his son, Naven Jones, leading to his death in March of 2022. Our Durante Matthew shows us what Walker had to say when the defense and prosecutors got him on the stand. Naven was always a uh, very good, polite, happy kid. Thursday, the defense rested its case in day four of Brandon Walker's first degree murder trial for the death of his eight year old son, Navin Jones, but not before calling Walker himself to the stand. Walker went into his relationship with Navin's mother, ex girlfriend Stephanie Jones, saying although they lived together with their two sons, they weren't close. I uh, hadn't slept in the same bed with her for four years minimum, probably five. Walker says he spent most of his time at work, rarely at home with the kids. He also said he didn't know if Jones was feeding the kids breakfast or lunch, while also denying ever being physically abusive towards Nathan. I was spanked when I was a kid and I remember I did not like it. Have you been present at any time uh, when those contusions or uh, abrasions were put on Nathan's body? I There's no way I would have allowed someone to do that. He also testified the last time he saw Naven alive was almost two days before his death, a statement prosecutors challenged during cross-examination. He asked you the first time, when's the last time you saw Naven? You said yesterday about three o'clock. And if you remember correctly, I corrected myself later on in the interview and I said it was probably the day before. Accused of denying Naven food and medical care, the state showed Walker photos of his son's declining physical state during the last few months of his life while he lived with his parents. Does Naven look gaunt? He doesn't look like his face is collapsed in or sunken, right? No, he, look, he looks fine. He looks fine? How does he look compared to the other two? Not as good. What? Not as good. Not as good? That's what I said. Stephanie Jones also avoided testifying for the defense by invoking her right to plead the fifth, not incriminating herself. The judge said she still has this right since she's not been sentenced yet. Jones pleaded guilty last week to murder charges for Navin's death, facing between 20 and possibly up to 100 years in prison. In Peoria, Durante Matthews, WMBD News.